Axe Women Loggers of Maine is a group that began in Ellsworth but travels the country hoping to change the view of loggers. It was founded by Alyssa Weatherby who says her training began when she was a kid living in a house heated by wood. She obviously did a lot of chopping and now uses her world champion axe wielding skills to help spread a voice of empowerment to others. Two years ago, Amanda and I got a lesson. <laughs> a team of all girls, all world champions, world record holders, uh, college champions. We have the collegiate steel champion on our team. We travel around all over North America. We compete and we also put on exhibitions. Yeah. So when you go to a competition, you're doing a number of things beyond just ax throwing. Exactly. Log rolling, what else goes on? Right, when you go to a competition, you compete in two different chopping events. You do underhand chopping, standing block chopping. You do cross cut sawing with the old fashioned cross cut saws. You do bow sawing, you race with chainsaws, and then you do some ax throwing as well. I, I think we have a lot to practice. I was gonna say, we wanna <laughs> learn, so why don't we step out of her way and get a few tips, because we wanna know what it takes to be a champion. All at right. This. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna throw from 20 feet, so the line is right here. Okay. The center of the target is five feet off the ground. So no matter where you go to compete, those it's are always going to be the regulations. Yep, you have your competition throwing axe. You hold it just like this. Go straight back behind your head. You take a step like you're throwing a ball. And when you release the axe, you want to point your fingers right at that bullseye. And you want to leave your hands there until the axe sinks into the target. There it is! Oh my gosh! <laughs> she wow. makes it look so easy. She does make it look easy. Do you want All right. To... All right. Okay, Peggy. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to step out of the way. What is that? Oh my gosh. The paparazzi. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so I'm going to take a step. Yeah. How much does this thing weigh? About two and a half pounds. Oh my gosh. You can come a little bit I closer. I thought it was like actually. 30 pounds. A little closer? A little closer. A little closer. Is there good? you go. Try okay. to out right there. All right, here we go. Ready? I don't even think I can throw it. Point your fingers right at that bullseye. Okay, and I'm going to take a step. Here we go. <laughs> okay. That was my first one. That was good though. That I'm was just good. warming up. Now you now you're in the swing of it. Now I and now I'm ready. That was good. You know what to expect. Now yeah. I just was, I wanted to do that to throw you guys off a little. I'm a ringer. So release a little bit higher. A re release higher. Okay. You go ahead and laugh at me. No, I'm not laughing at all because it's gonna be worse when I step up. Okay. Um it here we go. Oh, <laughs> Okay, this is it. I got this one. All right, right into that bullseye. Woo, almost. Okay, now I'm into it. I'm taking the gloves off. All right, there you go. I'm getting serious now. All right. Oh, yeah, that's the difference. That's the ticket. Here we All go. All right, point your fingers right at that bullseye. Okay. <laughs> that was good. You're getting it. <laughs> You know, I think you're, you're nailing this, Peg, you're, personally. I'm totally nailing this. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's better than me, I think. Well, don't say that. You don't know. Okay. That was close. So when you released, you dropped I your released, hands. Oh. Keep the hands pointed that way. Keep them pointed at the target. All right, it's right into the, the bullseye. It's the uneven ground, Peggy. You know? It is the uneven ground. That's what I said. That Whoa, was close. that was very good. A little higher, you've got it. That was awesome. All right. You Next know, time. if this TV thing doesn't work out, you might have another career. <laughs> We're always Thank looking for new you. girls. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm mainer enough for it. <laughs> okay, Release a little bit higher. Higher, right here. Yep. Right at that bullseye. There you go. Oh, so close. What's the workout routine for something like this? <laughs> you just practice in your backyard. Oh, okay. it's Almost. hard, isn't it? I try it? to keep those arms up. <laughs> so the goal, obviously, is to hit the bullseye, but do you right. get certain points? 
you do most competitions, you'll get three throws, and then it's the total of all the points. So bullseye is worth five, then four, three, two, and one. And I asked her what the men win when they win the world championship. She won $300. And the men win like trucks and... <laughs> They win a lot more than that's us. That's nice. <laughs> but it's that's, fun. And, so uh, it's, Axe Women then is helpful because it shows women that they can do this sport. Exactly. Exactly, yep. Um, we are always bringing in new girls. It's really helpful. A lot of colleges have teams now. Um, Unity College has a great woodsman team. One of their girls works for us as well. You know, so it's, it's, real, it's growing. Pretty sure I'm not gonna give up my day job just yet. Here's the thing though, so we did that two years ago. It was bitterly cold that day, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I feel like that's such a great way to just get out stress. I agree. And who doesn't have stress right now? <laughs> Maybe don't do it in a neighborhood like we did. But and if you noticed, I kept moving closer and closer and closer to the target and I still couldn't hit it. So maybe we just do it without a target. Just fling some axes out there. Also without the big heavy jackets, <laughs> I think would have helped. You're kind, but I really, that's not my gift right there. We can, we can all admit to that. We will have more information about Axe Women Loggers of Maine on our website, New Center Maine slash 207 and our mobile app.